Manufacturers recommend a weekly greasing schedule, which must be followed in order to reduce downtime and costly repairs. We have selected a 16,000 pound forklift to review the basic grease points, which are common on all makes and models of forklifts. Ensure we chalk the wheels of the machine before working on it. Let's start with the steer axle. Here we have the left inner steer link, ensuring that we pump enough grease into the joint to see old grease being pushed out. Here we have the left outer steer link, which we will be greasing. And again, we can see the grease being evacuated here. Here we are seeing the left upper kingpin being greased and the left lower kingpin. And repeat all of these grease points on the other side. For the steer axle mount pivot pins, this model of the machine has remote mounted steel lines shown here, which provides easy accessibility. Most models of machines have grease nipples on the steer axle pins or mounts themselves. Ensure you clean off any excess grease. As shown here, we will grease both of the U-joints and the slip yoke on the drive shaft. Cab tilt pins and bushing grease fitting is hidden behind this little hole, and there are two of them. Lubricate the upper fork bar, and we'll lubricate the lower fork bar. Some forks have grease fittings at the top of the eye. These forks do not, and I'm just spreading a little bit of grease on the upper and lower fork bar. A small painter's brush and a grease tube works best. I didn't have one handy, so I just used the greaser. Here I've just spread the fork so I can continue to grease the upper and lower fork bars. Here we are greasing our upper side shift bushings. Insert enough grease so that you watch the old grease being pushed out of the bushing. Go ahead and spread a little bit more on the upper carriage pin. And to continue to grease the carriage upper bearings, you will not see the grease exit the bearing here, but you should be able to hear it come out of the bearing. A half a dozen pumps should be sufficient. We're going to grease our outer tilt cylinder pin and bushing here. Our barrel end tilt cylinder pin and bushing and repeat all of these grease points on the other side. We'll just move the forks and side shift back and forth, spreading the grease evenly. Now we can raise the carriage and mass to access our lower carriage and mass bearings. Before working under the carriage or forks of a machine, ensure you use certified chain able and rated for the load. Increasing our trunnion pins and bearings here. This is an area that often gets neglected and can cause heavy wear and expensive repairs. Often you need to remove grease to find the access holes for your grease nipples on these lower carriage and lower mass bearings. Ensure we grease our chain pulleys or commonly referred to as chain shivs. Ensure to have a good look around the mast to make sure that you've greased every possible grease fitting on the mast. Ensure you lubricate the lift chains frequently. They will endure the most amount of wear at the top of the lift chain where it starts to go over the pulley when you lift up the mast. I'm using a piece of cardboard here to prevent the spray from landing on the windshield. By following this weekly greasing schedule, you will reduce maintenance costs, downtime, and have a better overall machine experience.